Check one, two. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, good morning everyone, TGIF. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Feel free to activate your microphones. Feel free to turn on your camera so that we can see your lovely faces. This Friday, we finished five weeks together. Can you believe it? Time flies when you're having fun, right? Yes. Of course, yes. Say yes, of course, yes. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it either. It's amazing. I feel like I, I actually have my career complete. <laughs> yeah. See, see how easy it is? Piece uh, of cake. Yeah. Say yes. Piece of cake, no sweat. <laughs> and you thought it was going to be difficult. <laughs> easy peasy twice as cheesy my friends my dear friends today we need to try to finish two things we need to try to finish our video 
Yesterday, I had the pleasure of discussing with a few groups their progress. And you guys are making really good progress. I like what I see. A lot of good ideas. In fact, some of the advice, most of the advice I give to groups is to try to actually include less information, but more detail. Sometimes less is more. Sometimes it's better to talk more deeply about less things. Okay, so just to kind of give a review of some of the things to think about. What are some of the things to think about when you're creating your video? What's going to make a good video or a great video? What do you think? I want to include a list of things in the chat. So what do you think? What are, what are some things we need to try to do in our video or try not to do? Say only important information. All right. Say only important information. All right. Good. And how might you say that important information? What what's what's a good way of saying that information as a mm -hmm. team? Taking like only the main ideas and then explain that, but. <laughs> All right, talking about the main ideas. What's um, what are some ways to to show those main ideas in your presentation? Think about your own team, right? What's what's a, a good way of doing it? What's a, a bad way of presenting these ideas, these main ideas, in your presentation or in your video? We can put like key keywords. Because, for example, we put all the phrase and you tell us that we can put only the keywords. All right. So one way is to include the keywords. Now, sometimes we like to include the keywords as bullet points. Bullet points. What are bullet points? You know what I mean by bullet points? Bullet points. What are bullet points? Like my team put um what is um uh, like vignettes points or something. That's like right. That. So if anyone is using a PowerPoint presentation. I highly recommend that you watch the video and you can watch it today, this morning. It's about 10, nine minutes, 10 minutes. And in uh, Microsoft Teams, I uploaded a video this morning that's called Death by PowerPoint. And it's kind of a funny video, but he goes through and discusses what not to do. And so I would take a look at this video if you're going to use a PowerPoint presentation and try to avoid doing what he says not to do. One of them is about bullet points. A lot of times we like to include a lot of bullet points. So don't feel like you have to have a lot of bullet points. You can still include key words without bullet points. Okay, you can also include keywords as images, key ideas. All right, so my first suggestion, each slide in your PowerPoint should represent one key message, one key idea, one key message. All right, so use headings in each slide to represent the key message. 
All right, so think about number one, each slide conveys one message or should communicate one message. Use headings to include that message or to state that message and try not to put too much information in each slide. Okay, remember that the slides are there as a guide for you to speak, right? This is an exercise in speaking. It's not an exercise in reading. Okay, so few words. Think about like when you did your mind map, right? We didn't have a lot of words. We just had ideas and, and, and maybe just key words to help remind us, okay, what am I going to speak about next? That's what the PowerPoint is designed to do. It should be like a big note card. It should be just a guide for you to help you communicate your ideas throughout your presentation. All right, so you don't want the audience to read and listen. We can't read and listen at the same time. All right, so we're either going to listen to you or we're going to be reading. All right, so we'd rather listen to you than read for this, for this uh, exercise, for this presentation. Okay, so um, pay close attention to what you put in your slide and what you don't put in your slide. And try not to include too many images. Try not to include too many words. Try not to include too many bullet points. Okay, if you have a presentation with no bullet points, that's awesome. Right? If you have a couple of slides, okay, fine, maybe. But don't include too many. Don't have like a list of eight words as bullet points on one slide. That's too much. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't talk about it. You can talk about some of those things, but not on your slides. Remember, the slides shouldn't be a distraction from what you're talking about. We want to listen to you. That's the most important part is hearing you, and we should be able to see something to complement what you're saying. It's not the other way around. It's not you saying something to complement what we see. It's the other way around. All right. Many in many cases, some of you might want to talk more deeply, more specifically about less things. And the last thing I'll suggest, remember that this is a problem solution video. So you're going to present a problem or problems and you're going to talk about solutions. Remember that most of the video should be about the solutions, right? I don't even suggest that you talk half of the time about the problem and half of the time about the solution. I'm suggesting talk more than half of your presentation should be about the solution. You might just speak one or two minutes about the problem and then the rest of the video, all about the solutions. Here's one solution. Here's another solution. Here's another solution. And then you can speak about your relationships with your friends and your family to support, to give examples about the solutions that you're proposing. Remember, we should tie this into your relationships with either your family or your friends. Use your own experiences. Maybe it's something that you haven't experienced, but from your experience, you can make some very good suggestions about possible solutions. Maybe you saw with your friends something that you shouldn't do. So you're going to say, okay, I'm thinking about my relationship, my experiences with my friends. Maybe we did some things that we shouldn't have done. So I'm going to suggest what we should do going forward, or I'm going to suggest to others what they should do in the future so they don't make the same mistake maybe that I made, just as an example. Okay, so use your experiences, use your relationships with your family and your friends. Bring that into the, your video in some way. It can be explicit or it could be implicit. It could be something very, very specific that you talk about directly, or it could be 
you reflecting on a past experience, but you're you're not giving them all the details. You're just using that to form ideas and beliefs about the solutions that you want to propose. Okie dokie. The second, th the second thing we want to try to work on today, and both of these assignments, your your third episode, your podcast episode, and the video, I'm going to give everyone all day today in class, and all day if you need time after class to complete both assignments, right? You have the whole day to, to do that. But I really want to speak with each group. I want to meet with you very briefly to hear what you want uh, to propose, what you want to include in your video. You don't have to show me the whole presentation. I mean, you don't have to rehearse the presentation in front of me. You just have to say, well, I'm thinking, we're thinking about this. This is what we're going to propose. Maybe take a very quick look at your presentation. I did that with some groups yesterday. And... Just briefly look at what you have, what you're thinking about, and I can give you some final suggestions, okay? Finally, rehearse. Practice. At least give your presentation twice as a team, just so that you get kind of used to how you're presenting and you're comfortable with using maybe the technology. If you're going to share your screen, remember to create the video in Microsoft Teams, just as we've done. Nothing new with technology. You've all been creating videos with your meetings. We're going to do the same thing for this video. The only difference now is you might want to use a video editing software afterwards to remove maybe some parts of the video that you don't want in the final version. I'm asking everyone to upload your final video to your group under week five, just as a, a, a video file. And I would call it, I would name the file like your final video, right? Some sort of name so that when I go in and look for the video, I know which video is your final, your final video, your final version, okay? So just give it a name that makes sense, a final video or maybe the title of your presentation. And that should be enough for me to figure it out. Any questions, guys, about our project, our video project, or your podcast episode? No, teacher. No, teacher. ¿Cuánto tiene que durar el podcast? Uh, the same as week two, four to four and a half minutes is, is plenty. Ah, okay, okay. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. And remember, your podcast can be about anything that you're listening to, but it's something that you've been listening to from your other um, episodes. And don't write anything down, right? I'm not looking for a perfect presentation. I, I'm looking for you to create the language, create your ideas. You can take notes, you can prepare and write out key words that you want to talk about, but try not to write anything out. Even when you're talking about what other people say, don't write it out. That's the kiss of death, writing something out when you think you're preparing because you're going to read it. So don't read anything. Don't read anything, whether it's your own ideas or someone else's ideas. If it's someone else's ideas, just paraphrase, right? Just talk about what they said. They said this, they think this, they feel this. I think this, I feel this, I suggest this, right? That's, that's really the purpose of these podcasts is for you to continue, continue to listen and, and uh, learn things that are of interest to you in English, of course, and then you turn around and Say something about it. Form an opinion. Agree or disagree. I like it. Okay. All right, guys. We'll stop there. I'm going to be here, of course. I'm going to mute my mic. Uh, I'm going to be waiting for those who have not talked to me about your video before you're, uh, you're ready to create the video. Let me know. 
Uh, I'm going to try to pay, you know, uh, keep track of the chat. Sometimes I miss your messages. So the best thing to do is, is just to jump in, you know, turn on your microphone and say, hey, can you talk to group 10 or group 5 or whatever? And, um, and then I'll go in and I'll talk to each group. Okie dokie, so I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. Go ahead and go into your groups. If you guys have to exit this group, that's fine, right? If, if technology is an issue here, just, just go ahead and, and, and leave this group. Go into your small groups, and we'll come back at 940, as always, uh, to close the class. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic, guys. Let's go and uh, spend this time. I would spend now working with your teams, since we're all here, and uh, try, to, try to get finished, hopefully today, in class. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and mute everyone's mic just because we're recording. If anyone wants to jump in, of course, unmute your microphone. Teacher, can you meet with the team number nine, please? Sure. Um, I'll go ahead and enter right now, uh, Diana. Okay. Hello, team nine. Hello. <laughs> Are you guys ready to begin your uh, recording? Uh, kind of. Or do you have any questions? Joy, mm, do you have a question? No, 
O si contesta, ¿verdad? Sí. Are we uh, missing uh, do you have Diana also in your group? Uh, let yes. me call her. Mm -hmm. Oh, there she is. Ah. Okay. So, are you guys ready to begin your video or do you have are you still thinking about some things? Uh, we just have to finish our uh, PowerPoint point presentation. Because we are uh, like uh, adding some things and uh, we don't finish it yet. All right, and what's the problem or problems that you're presenting in your video and what are your solutions and how will you present your solutions? <clears throat> uh, well, uh, our topic is the depression of, in, on quarantine. And our uh, public is the youngest people, like uh, like us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and our solutions are um, obviously um, like professional help, like go to the uh, get psychology help and that things and maybe um, get, get distracted like, uh, like do something new and uh, talk with your friends and mm -hmm. get closer to your family and uh, maybe learn something that you didn't know like study the that Ma Ay, ¿Cómo se dice materia? The subject. The subject. Ay, subject. Mm -hmm. That subject that you don't know, or maybe learn a new language, other things like things that that you can't get you can get distracted. Yeah, so, I like um, I like your solutions, the examples uh, that you're sharing i i would rather hear those uh, instead of much talk about professional psychological help um so yeah i encourage you guys to really stress more the the things that you would suggest the things that you <clears throat> and the students your target audience have control over that maybe worked for you or you think might work if you haven't experienced it yourself um how are you thinking about organizing the the actual talk like presenting um you know the solutions and have you thought about how you're going to divide up the talk between the three of you yeah just i i have something to say that i, I think that maybe we talk a little like a lot of why or how is depression caused because we really want to be like clear like what things you have to stop doing and we have to we we think that is really important to to tell to this to the young people that why like these things that they are doing are making them like depressed you know so because if we don't explain it like why maybe they won't listen like the how to help them you understand mm -hmm. and are you thinking about you as a team the why is it are you going to present the why at the very beginning and then your solutions mm -hmm. or are you going to reveal the why as you talk about each of your solutions throughout because i see no, two I, ways of doing it for example no, first, I, we... first i i'm going to talk first and i'm going to talk about yeah. why is the depression cost and then diana is going to talk like how to identify some patterns yes, to, like to know that and yeah and then fernanda is going to do some going to give some solution. um 
solutions and then I'm going to say some solutions too. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And so the um, without saying your presentation, the, the, the last thing, because I, I like your ideas. I think you guys are on the right track. The thing that uh, I would just suggest that you do as a team is to pay, uh, and maybe you're doing this already, but just, again, in your presentation, make sure that it's very clear there as well as uh, thinking about how you want to present the question words in terms of not only the problem, of course, but more importantly, I think, the solutions. Like, what the solution is, and this is why I'm, I was asking before how you want to present the why of the problem, because um, I think the why of the solution is related to the why of the problem. And so, depending on, you know, and you can do kind of a combination even, you know, if you're presenting... Uh, uh, Chito, at the beginning, the problems, then uh, you can also present the why of the solution, which I think is going to, again, directly relate to the problem. So presenting the problems at the beginning and then also kind of reminding the audience that the solution is related to a certain part of the problem might also be important. So I just want to encourage you guys to think very specifically when each of you are presenting, make sure that you're fully aware of are you presenting the what, the how, or the why, or the when, and and then as a team you're making decisions as to the organization of the what, the how, and the why in terms of both the problem and the solution so that it it's as coherent as possible, that it's as organized as as possible. Okay, so that's the only thing I would suggest. I think you guys have uh, uh, some good ideas here. Uh, remember the devil's in the details. So talk specifically. Yes. Pro provide really good examples, and you know, make it your your audience are students. So make it very concrete, and try try not to get uh, too complicated. Keep it simple, but very. Uh, organized and direct uh, to your target audience. And uh, I would just take take a look at that video that I shared this morning, Death by PowerPoint, uh, as you're preparing your, uh, your PowerPoint presentation today. Okay. All right. Yes, Any, teacher. Sounds yes. good. Any other questions, guys? Mm, no. I think no. not. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I look forward to seeing your video, guys, and we'll we'll talk to you a little later. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Bye. See you. Bye. Hello, group Hello. one. Hi. Okay, you scared me. Ah. Okay. How we doing? <laughs> Are we ready? <laughs> um. Next question, please. Okay, no. Um. Well, we 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 we. We're like, um, we're confused. Okay. okay. Can you hear me? Yes, you I hear, hear you. Me? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we're very confused because uh, we we already have a problem. I mean, that's, okay. that's, uh, so we don't know how to put the solutions. It's... I don't know if you can read 
the, the task guide is in files, but we are like stuck in there. Okay, all right. You're cutting out a little bit, but I think I understand your question. Your uh, your question is about um, the solutions. You're not sure about the solutions. Uh huh. All right, and I'm I'm going into week five. I don't see any uh, any file, oh, but the, it is in week three. Ah, week three. I would probably move it over to week five since we're in week five. Performance task guide, is that the document? Mm hmm Yes, <laughs> sorry. All right, so my suggestion, guys, I, I'm looking at your document, mm -hmm. and I see that you're writing out dialogue. Mm -hmm. Is this for a role play? Yes. Are you pretending that one of you is a teacher and then the other is a student? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, all right, I, all right, the, if you're going to write out a dialogue, it needs to be really clear, again, what the problem is and what the, what the solution is, all right, there's no problem doing a role play, but you might have, for example, one of you is a teacher, the other is a student, and then you have a narrator, someone who is talking directly to the audience, maybe making connections between what you're saying in your role play and how what you're saying relates to both the problem and the solution. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Okay. This is a, a suggestion, right? So the, the at the end of the day you need to present clearly at least one problem and, you know, at least two or three solutions depending on the problem. Um, and so you want to make it, uh, you want to make it clear. So that's what I would keep in mind in, in, your, in your notes, in your document, maybe you, um, you write a note, you can insert a comment, and the person who's going to be the narrator can insert ideas, you know, not write out everything, but just write out ideas about what needs to be said and when that needs to be said. So this could be your, your guide when you create your video. All right? Does that, does that make sense? Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Right. So just keep, uh, just make sure that the dialogue that you're creating here is representing both a, a, a problem or if, you know, maybe the dialogue pre creates a problem and then the, the narrator is talking about a, a solution perhaps, right? Just depends, depends on how you want to, to do this. And, and I would, you know, you can also combine this, maybe the dialogue, I mean, it looks like you've got, I don't know how long this dialogue is going to last, but yeah, keep in mind the time that you have. You're going to have about 15 minutes total, more or less. So you can also combine the dialogue with all three of you discussing or narrating, okay? It's... There's a lot of different ways that you can do it. But if you think that you want to do the whole thing as a role play and then have a narrator, fine. Or you can do some sort of combination. Okay. Does that, does that uh, help? Does that answer your question? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. Ahora sí, sí, hablan. Anything, anything else? Any other questions that you guys have? No, pero quiero comentar algo gracioso. I do like bueno. the I do like the role play, and your your video will be a little bit different because I uh, I haven't seen too many other groups do dialogue, so I I like the idea. I really like the idea of doing a role play. 
right? Mm-hmm. But but just make sure that you have at least one narrator or that you're narrow, narrating all three of you at some point to really be very, very explicit in the solutions that you're offering that you want to propose for that problem. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, I will, I'll let you go, and you let me know if you guys have any other questions. Okay, I have no question, but I, but I want to say one funny thing. Yes. We realized it mm-hmm. a few minutes ago. Well, we were in the call, and they said hi, and and Alonso, and didn't talk because Mike and Dad. And until I talked, no one of them said a word. I mean, if I don't talk, no, nobody's talking. It was very funny. Uh, in your <laughs> in your group or in in the class in the whole like class here here in here in, in the call here in the group. Okay, so everybody should really participate. Everybody should have ideas and try to communicate. Hopefully, it's not a problem with the technology. I noticed that, uh, and I don't know uh, if it's just me, but I'm having a hard time hearing you, uh, uh, Gabby. So I don't know. Maybe that's the problem. Yes, but, I think. But I would suggest, you know, check your computer. And I don't know, in your case, Gabby, if you're also in the other class. But, you know, you might want to just close everything, right? Just, like, exit all the classes and close all of your your browsers and everything. And just open up the minimum that's required uh, for you to participate and see if that helps, right? See if that uh, helps with, um, you know, communicating and having others hear you because uh, you're cutting out a little bit, so it makes it it's hard to sometimes understand. But, mm-hmm. you know, when you guys are working together, really help each other, encourage each other to speak as much as possible. Even when you're just, you know, preparing, it's informal conversations or... Even if you're talking about other other things off topic, at, at least if you're speaking in English, right? You're you're getting practice. So, really try to encourage and help each other in these small groups, even when I'm not here, to to speak as much as you can in English, and and just do the best you can with the the technologies. And uh, if it if it helps to use maybe a phone instead of a computer. I mean, just try to think about different ways that you can use the different technologies that you have available so that it doesn't interfere with, in this case, the video that we're trying to create. Okay? If you guys have questions or issues about technology, of course, and you want, you know, some suggestions or we need to talk, then let me know, of course, right? And we can try to work something out. But just try try different things and um, try to be patient, but, but but communicate with each other about what your problems and or things that, that you're encountering. The main thing is that you're communicating all three of you uh, in this this task, right? Whether you're you're meeting in class or outside of class that you're communicating uh, amongst all of you. All right? Yes. All right. Okay, guys. I'll let you go yes, and sure. um, hang in there, and uh, we'll talk a little bit later. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome.
found. And if we read it all of all, like, like that in the video, it's going to be boring. No matter if we show like pictures or stuff, or we have a little uh, kind of music, um, it's going to be too much information. So maybe we can try to make it like um, como un reportaje de televisión, kind of like that. I'm going to ask uh, teacher Van if we can do it like that. So it would be more like fluency and not too much worrying. But tell me your ideas. Well, so I just say the, the problem and solution is fair enough. Or what? Yeah, I think saying the problem and solution is good. The thing is that, like, in my case, I don't want to be focusing too much, like, in the problem. Um, maybe just, like, mention it and that's it. But what I want to do is, like, um, be more focusing on the solutions because that's the, like, the purpose of the video. It's supposed that the uh, audience who is going to be watching it wants to know the solutions. Maybe they don't going to care much about the problem. So that's why I think we need to be focusing more in the solutions and be more like, um, I don't know how to say that, como más prácticas in how, how we describe or how do we say the solutions to not be like boring. You Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, yeah, I'm just listening to what you're saying, and uh, I agree that that we need to focus as much as possible on the on the solution. Um, you can certainly role play if you want to do a, a like a news broadcast. Uh, some some groups. I know one group is actually doing a role play. Uh, there's a teacher and a student, and they're writing out a dialogue and then having a narrator talk about the, the problem and the solutions within the, the dialogue. Now, I'm not saying that you have to do that, um, but certainly, you know, you mentioned a newscast. You could present a newscast and maybe not write out every word, but you could act like you're presenting, you know, a newscast for presenting both the problem and the solution. You could even um, have like a reporter or two reporters that are out in, you know, in, in the scene and, and you could have someone in the, in the studio, like as if it were a, a newscast. I mean, it's all possible right i mean i'm i want to be as flexible and give you as many opportunities to do try different things but the main thing is that you do present a problem but you focus on the solutions and that everyone is participating and in, in discussing uh in detail the the solutions and when you're talking about the solutions maybe you just have two solutions or three solutions but you're speaking really specifically about what the solution is, why the solution works, how the solution works, with whom the solution works. Think of the question words about really talking specifically about any one thing that you're, that you're discussing. And that relates also to the problem, of course, right? So what's the problem? How, why is the problem important or how maybe, right? But just think of the question words to help prompt you. And then when you're presenting as a team, you can think about, okay, what am I going to contribute? What am I going to say in my presentation? Well, maybe it's you can identify the solution and say, okay, I'm going to speak about what and how and someone else is going to talk about why, for example, right? So you can use those question words to think, okay, what's the order? 
that we're going to present as a team and who is going to say what, right, or how or when, you know, throughout the, the video presentation. And then use the PowerPoint, right, to help guide you. That The, the PowerPoint should be like your guide. It should be your, your note cards, if you want to think of it like that. Not a lot of information, but just enough clear information so that you know who's going to do what, when, and how. Okay, so I don't know if, if you guys have any questions. You know, I, I like what you guys are talking about and everything that you're discussing. I think you're on track. Okay, it's just a matter of deciding, you know, and, and, and determining, okay, First, identify the problem, all right, and then say, okay, as a team, which are the solutions, and then figuring out how you want to present your ideas as a team. Mm, I have three questions. All right. Um, for example, if we do it like as a newscast, um, us three we are going to be acting like, bueno, no sé cómo se dice en English, but como que somos las tres las reporteras. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is called a role play. And so you're pretending. You're, you're pretending, you're, you're, you're assuming a role, and you're preparing kind of what you're going to say in terms of that role. That's fine. Oh, okay. That's great, yeah. And also I was thinking about, um, well, as we were like a uh, psychologist, so also like an, kind of like a newscast, but not too much like looking like um, the, like most of those reporters. Um, maybe we can be dressing like, um, like a doctor mm -hmm. and discussing the solutions and stuff and maybe using some kind of pictures um, like, to make it more dynamic and to look like we were doctors. Sure. I mean, all of that, look, all of that is fine. It really is more about how you, what you guys decide as a team, but all of those are really good uh, suggestions, right? I, I'm not saying that you have to do that, but it, those are really good su suggestions. But it really depends on how you're going to present all of your ideas. And, and you know, the, the thing I mentioned before is that you could all role play or that you could have two of you role play and then you could have a narrator, a narrator, someone who's kind of making the connection between what's being said in the role play and talking directly to the audience in terms of the problem and the solution. And just as a suggestion, right? But it's all possible, right? They're all good suggestions. It's just a matter of what you guys decide and what you're comfortable with as a team. Oh, okay. And for example, um, Vanessa, she was telling us a personal story that she and her family was um, living, well, they're living with uh, right now in, uh, with the pandemic. And she said she wanted to share it. So if she want to share it, um, I think in the three options she can do it. Like if we do a new a newscast or the thing of the doctors or or maybe we do it like that, like as a narrator and the other two saying the solutions. But is is that okay if she wants to share the story? No, oh, of of course, yeah. Of course. You can share you can share, I, I want you to try to make connections between your own personal experience and this, uh, this activity, this creation of a video. Vanessa can share specifically the details of her story, or she could reveal whatever aspect of that happens to be real or not. It's not even a matter of finding out for sure if everything that she says actually came from a personal experience. But just the fact that she is sharing a story and relating it to her personal experience, 
is 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 great, right? So you I, you don't even have to share every detail. It really just it's totally open, right? But I the the whole point of a story or those details or examples, those are those are going to make your video video better, right? When you can provide very uh, rich detail and uh, very, the specifics and through stories, telling a story is a great way to do that, right? So, yes, I encourage you to share your stories. Maybe, and, and let me just give you one more other example just so so that you know that there are other options. You could say, you know... I, I have had a personal experience with this one thing, but it, it it's not something that I would recommend. I, maybe it's something that I saw maybe my family do that I wouldn't even suggest doing, right? But I'm using that experience to form an idea to turn around now and say, all right, I'm suggesting something else. I'm suggesting what I would do right and and that's also good right that's also something that you could include in your video so that's a long answer but to answer your question yes that's fine vanessa can share her personal story she can share any to you know any variation of that story or maybe uh, there's going to be other cases where you create a story based on your personal experience that's something that you want to share that may, might be part of a solution also. Okay. And one last question. Yes. Um, about the PowerPoint presentation. Um, so it is like, um, how do you say obligatorio? Um, I'm not familiar with that word. What's the word again? Obligatory. Ah, ah, no, it's not uh, required. Uh, you're you're going to need some sort of visual, though. Okay, but surely you don't have to have a, a PowerPoint. You could just have a series of images or websites, or I mean, it's totally up to you. Anything that you can create on your computer that you want to share your screen and and you know deliver in the video is fine. But no, it's not required to do a PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we already have like our websites, and Vanessa already she has already her pictures. Um, and for example, me, I I was thinking about doing like a map, a mental map to write my keywords to not make it like too long my dialogue, and no bore. So that's why I was thinking about sure. the PowerPoint presentation. I wanted to know if it was like obligatory. Oh, no, it's not. It. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not a requirement. No, no. You can uh, decide as a team how you want to present your ideas. If each one of you wants to present in a different way, that's fine too. Just try to to make it so that it's clear that the problem is clear that your message is clear. And that you have a good flow and, and transition between ideas throughout your video. That's that's the objection, the, the objective, right? Okay. So the video is going to be recall here in, in Teams? Right. You're basically, like, I don't know if you're recording now, but I recommend that you record everything, all of your meetings, everything that you talk about, that you have a recording and continue doing the same thing when you're ready to create your final video. The only difference will be when you finish, you might want to find an, a video editing software to maybe, you know, cut out certain parts of the video that uh, that you're not happy with or that you that you don't want to include in the final version. That's going to be the only difference. But just think of it as you recording your meetings as we've done on many occasions working in our small teams. Okay. And all yeah, of you, all do you know we... how to share your screen? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and do you know how to change the background in the video? To 
Um, you, when when you show yourself, is that your question? Like when you show your your video, yeah. like yourself. Um, I don't know if you guys have an option. I'm I'm clicking on the more options, the ellipsis at the top of your screen, and I have an option that says apply background effects. Do you see that, or do you have that option? Yes. I'm going to turn my video on oh. and just try it here. Maybe maybe I'm not because I'm in my cell phone, but maybe uh, my okay. laptop. I can. Okay. No, that's not it. Hold on. Let me check something. Um, apply background effects. Okay, here it is. Yeah, I think I've messed around with this before. And you can choose, like, different... Images and I think you can upload images also. Maybe let me see. Yeah, you can add images, right? So yeah, this might be something that's fun, especially for if you're doing a um, if you're doing a uh, a news broadcast, right? You could you could have like a studio in the back and have fun yeah. with that. Yeah, that's that's good. Because I can also well. I want to. I will tell you my idea, so you can tell me I can do it. We can do it or not. Um, I was thinking, for example, um, Dana is in the new in the newscast, and she's like program. And after she said, uh, "We're going to continue with the solutions, and maybe I can appear in like a medical." place or how do you say consultorio office medical office or doctor's office yeah yeah like a doctor's office saying the solution and be after me uh, vanessa in story um in a room or in her house or something like that i think that would be funny because uh is different there are different places uh, like trying to make we are in different places talking about different stuff but i don't know what do you think yeah listen i i all of these things that you guys are that you're sharing monse i think are wonderful ideas the the thing that i just want to make sure is that you guys agree that that all three of you feel that you're contributing offering suggestions and you're deciding as a team but i think everything that you're sharing with me are really really good ideas all right i think what's more important for me though is that each one of you feels that you're contributing that you're participating and that you have a voice and that you are part of the decision making process but i think everything that you guys are have shared with me today are really good ideas okay so, girls, I don't know what do you think about what I said. Or if anyone has any questions, because I I want to let you guys, you know, leave you alone so you guys can uh, talk amongst yourselves. Are there any other questions about uh, the the creation of this video that we're working on, guys? Donna and Vanessa. No. No, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Have All right, guys. Well, uh, any other questions? Kira, mm -hmm. What time? What time are we going to um, upload the video? Uh, well, if just sometime today, anytime today, uh, try to finish so that you can complete the task uh, for today. So uh, I'm not giving you a specific hour. Basically, just at some point, sometime today. Okay, so we just have to download it in the file we made from week five, right? Right. Uh -huh. And you may want to f edit the final video if you need to make any final changes to it. But yes, you can upload it to week five under your files for your group, for uh, group 10. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. All right. We'll talk Thank to you a little bit later, guys. What time do we have to go back to the call? Uh, 9.40. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks. Thanks Bye, Ben. Sure.
Chale, chale, chale. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are we Hi. doing? Hi. How are we doing? Hi. Well, I'm so confused, teacher. Okay. So yesterday I we did know uh know that we have to call. So we already recording the video yesterday. Okay. So I can, can got it the video. Well, how about can you just try it again? Can you record it again based on what we've talked about? Maybe makes may, maybe reflect on what you did yesterday. Talk about any possible changes that you guys feel might improve your performance, and then maybe uh, try it one more time and see if you can improve on it. Teacher, yesterday we already recorded the project and already edit. Oh, and you edited it and everything. Uh we forgot to well we don't know that we need to call you so we do the video and now we um nuestra compañera Liz she's editing the video uh -huh, yeah. uh -huh. bueno pues no sé si, si pueden hablar con Liz y si no sé si pueden o quieren porque como tenemos todavía más tiempo reflexionar en lo que hicieron ayer para ver si, si pueden mejorarlo este ahí si hay algunos aspectos a cambiar basado en lo que hemos practicado en clase verdad esa es mi sugerencia si no pues lo sí, que, de lo que hecho, tiene. este le estamos enviando como sugerencias y imágenes a Liz porque ya ella ya lo va a acabar hoy para enviarlo. Sí, ya Así lo editó. Ya no sabemos qué podemos hacer. Porque ahorita está ocupada con su papá que le pasó algo en el hospital. I've had a problem. Ah, ok. Um, COVID All right. Well, that's fine. Then just go ahead and upload it. And uh, work on your, uh, your podcast. If there's nothing else to work on in the project. Oh, that's right. Thank you, teacher. All right. Ok. Thanks, guys. Thank Bye. You. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye. Yeah, Bye. Teacher. Bye.
Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
<clears throat> All right, guys, it's about uh, 9.40. Getting ready to uh, conclude for today. Um, it looks like I think Team 8 is requesting that we chat. So when we close, after we finish today... Uh, we can talk briefly uh, right now to talk about uh, your video. I think Team 8 was the only team that sent a message. Let me double check here. Yeah. So, yeah, Team 8, we can talk here in a second. Uh, to conclude, guys, uh, try to finish your project for today. You can have all day to finish both your podcast episode episode number three, and also your team project. Remember to focus mainly on solutions. Introduce the problem. Talk about the solutions. You do not need an introduction. We have not spoken about an introduction for this project, nor do you need a slide that's called introduction. Just begin by stating the, the purpose, the problem, and the solutions. Essentially, that's those are going to be your two sections, the problem and the solution. You're going to be speaking directly to your audience, okay? So you don't have to have a slide that says who your target audience is because you're going to be speaking directly to your target audience. You might even be saying, you know, that you are on a committee or that you are responsible for whatever. So that's going to be obvious what role that you're assuming. So you don't need a PowerPoint slide that says role because it should be obvious in the way that you're speaking to your audience what, what your role is and, again, who is your target audience. All right, guys, we'll stop there for today and um, try to finish and upload your video to your group, right? Make sure that you have a folder called week five and you can include your final video there in that folder. Please change the name, okay? So change the name to something that is obvious, final video. Uh, if you want to provide a title to name the video file, that's fine. Just something that 
will make it easier for me to distinguish which video is your final video. Any questions, guys, about the two tasks that we're completing for today? No. No, teacher. No? No, teacher. All right, guys. We'll stop there then. And I uh, look forward to seeing your videos. I'll be looking at them, watching them this weekend. I'll try to provide you some feedback on Monday. Um, and... Yeah, we'll stop there for today, all right? I got, hope you guys have a good weekend, and uh, we'll see you guys on Monday. Take care. Yes, Jared. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Jared. Thank you, Thank you, Jared. Thank you, Thank you, Jared. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you guys. Bye. And Team 8, if you, you want to stick around. Time. Team 8, if you guys want to stick around for just a, a few moments, we can take a look at... Your presentation, if you want, or if you just want to speak about it. I think uh, Luis Enrique. Can you, I'm from I'm from Team Eight. Can you join us? Yeah. Do you have a presentation that you want me to look at, or do you want to just speak here in this class, in this space? Um, it's up I to you. I think in the in the Team Eight. Okay. Uh, Okay. Okay, I'll be right there. Thank you. Hi, teacher. Hello, Majo. How are things going? Hello, Luis Enrique. Maria. Hello. All right, so how are we doing? Mm, fine. Okay. You guys want to share how you're going to present your video? Or do you have any questions? Mm, the problem is that... It, Maria Jose was working in her the presentation and the internet in her house was falling. But she said <coughs> she will connect until she has a connection good. All right, so have can you guys meet maybe in the afternoon where you have better connections or what have you what can you guys do? What have you decided? Sorry teacher, but my computer is not working now, but I right now I'm connecting in my cell phone, so I'm okay. ready now. <laughs> All right, so is it possible team 8 if uh if Majo can join, can she participate with her phone? Is that possible? Where you record your your uh, session, your meeting? Maybe in the yeah. afternoon um, we can join again and record the video. Right, so mi sugerencia es hay que experimentar un poco, hablar, hay que hablar con ustedes para, para poner de acuerdo si se puede, uno, si puede conectar tal vez más tarde, cuando, no sé, si, si cambia la velocidad del internet para cada uno de ustedes, porque todo depende, es, eh, la conexión depende en, en todos ustedes, nada más a uno, entonces... Esa es una opción. La segunda opción es obviamente si estamos hablando de un compu, hay que cerrar todo, así nada más abrir lo que es esencial para participar en, en esta actividad. 
Entonces, tal vez, no sé, cerrar la otra clase, lo que siempre tenemos, ¿verdad? Y ustedes entran directamente en tu grupo y participar ahí, desde ahí. Y otra opción, en el caso de Majo, no sé si ella puede participar con un celular y ustedes con una computadora compartiendo su pantalla a ver si se puede hacer algo por ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, pues yo pienso, si ustedes pueden comunicar y poner de acuerdo una hora que pueden juntar tratando eh, aparatos diferentes, a ver qué, qué sirve, qué no, para ver qué, qué pueden hacer. ¿Cómo ven? Yo creo que... Sí, adelante. Eh, eh, está bien, igual y podemos buscar una alternativa para que podamos presentarlo y pues nuestra compañera hace una y también pues diga la, la parte que, que nos toca a cada uno. Sí, este, hay varias maneras, ¿no? El, el detalle es que entre ustedes que ponen de acuerdo y y deciden maneras que, que pueden escuchar bien su voz, porque se, idealmente sería mejor también si podíamos ver sus, sus caras, ¿verdad? Pero mínimo su voz, ¿verdad? Que podemos escuchar bien su voz. Y el mínimo, si uno de ustedes pueden compartir su pantalla para también podemos uh, que ustedes pueden ofrecer algo visual en el sentido de de las ideas, lo que están compartiendo. Puede ser como un tipo PowerPoint o, o puede ser nada más, no sé, páginas de la, del web o, o imágenes, ¿verdad? No tiene que ser un, uh, un PowerPoint. Entonces, um, si quieren en la tarde, ustedes tratan de hacerlo. Si ustedes siguen con problemas, igual voy a estar disponible en la tarde si necesitan o, o si tengan dudas, también me, me dicen. Um, pero tratan de hacerlo en, en la tarde y cualquier cosa me, me dicen. Sí, teacher. Este, lo que habíamos tenido pensado o planeado, más bien habíamos planeado, era hacer este, una presentación. de Bueno, más bien ya la hicimos. Es una presentación de PowerPoint. Y este, vamos a grabar aquí en Teams. Vamos a a compartir la, bueno, voy a compartir la pantalla con la presentación y vamos a hablar uh, todos, como que uh -huh. cada quien sus, cada quien nos dividimos como que información y cada quien va a dar sus consejos y las soluciones más que nada. Muy bien. Ok. Sí, me, me parece muy bien. No sé si tengan otras dudas, comentarios. No, de mi parte no, no sé, María o Enrique. Luis Enrique, ¿tienes dudas, María? Mm, hace rato dijo que íbamos a hacer un folder, ¿no? Para poner el video. Así es, la idea es cuando ustedes terminen grabando su, su junta, su reunión, así como siempre, ustedes pueden descargar el archivo, si es necesario editarlo igual, tienen chance a, a, a quitar algunas secciones o partes. Y ya cuando está hecho el final, el video final, pueden subirlo a, a archivos, a week 5. Y si puede cambiar el nombre del archivo para distinguir este archivo como es el final de este proyecto para, me, para ayudarme a saber cuál archivo es. Y yo voy a buscar, voy a entrar a cada grupo en cada uh, carpeta para esta semana, week 5, para encontrar sus videos, ¿ok? Ok. Muy bien, ¿otra duda? Mm, no sé. María. Tiene una duda? Luis Enrique. No. Yo creo que para el momento no, 
Mande, María. No escuché bien. Uh, que por un momento yo creo que no. Muy bien. Acerca de las dudas. Ok, bueno, pues este, me dicen cualquier cosa, pues me, me dicen, este, y en otherwise, I'll, I'll look forward to hearing your, or seeing your video, guys, ok? Yes, sure, thank you. All right, thanks, guys, we'll talk to you later. Muy bien, see you later, thank you, Bye. Bye.